J.P. Cullen and Sons implemented building information modeling at the Craig High School project in Janesville, Wisconsin. This is a sample of one exercise where we used the modeling capability to save time, man hours, and equipment costs for assembly and erection of long span joists for the new gymnasium addition. The 26 joists in the building each weighed 6.7 tons, and at 126 feet long, they were shipped to the site in pieces and assembled in the field. Through the use of the building model in our pre construction planning, Cullen was able to determine easily reachable laydown and assembly areas for the eight truck loads of joists. Four loads were taken directly from the trucks and set in place in the building for assembly directly underneath their final locations. To leave room in the building for the crane, an area that was 80 feet away from the building was chosen for assembly of the remaining four loads. Putting the assembly area farther away from the building was actually better because it was easier to position the crane and swing 180 degrees to erect the joists. What you see in this video simulation first are the joist bundles arriving by truck and being placed at their designated locations. Loads 1 through 4 are unloaded outside the building, then the crane moves and loads number 5 through 8 are unloaded inside. While still inside the building, the crane is used to assist in assembling the joists from loads 5 through 8 and the crane is backed out of the building as this assembly work is done. The crane then is moved to the west and is used to assemble joists from loads number 1 through 4. Each crane position and joist laydown location was already marked on the ground with spray paint, so there was no question about where to go to make the sequenced picks. Locations for boom lifts, used by the iron workers to make the connections in the air, were also marked out on the ground so that the number of moves for that equipment was minimized. After assembly of the joists, the crane is moved back inside the building and the raising gang takes over to erect all of the joists in sequence. Here you can see the joists going into place and the crane backing out as erection continues. After erection of the south half of the building, the crane again moves outside and erection of the north half of the building continues from the outside. The results of the planning done with BIM were three days saved from the original 13-day schedule. All eight truckloads were delivered in one day rather than being spread over three days, eliminating many coordination headaches. And finally, we were able to find a way to use a 100-ton crane that was already on the project rather than bringing in a rented 150-ton crane that was originally planned. This saved cost and coordination time. Cullen sees a wealth of opportunity for applications of building information modeling. Call us with more questions.